Colin, Sandra here and welcome back to a, another video and today's video I am going to be sharing with you my newest crochet um, project that I'm, I've been working on and that is the little shawl um, you all know I did this one to go with this jumpsuit that I dyed and I love her and then I've made a shawl which <laughs> I'm going to be calling Rose and this lady is going to be up as well if anybody is interested in her. She is one of a kind. She's made from 100% cotton um, yarn and the colours in her, let me just show you, she's a bright one. She has the orange, the light pink and the red and then at the bottom she has the dark pink with the red in the middle and then all the little cute Fluffies at the bottom are in all of the colours. She has about a one and a half inch neck there to keep her on the shoulders. And as with the other shawls that I've been making, same pattern, I've designed them to fit to the body. I wanted to show you this one on. Because she's cute. <laughs> and um, I've done her as so I'm going to be wearing her for fall. I mean I won't because she's going up for sale if I don't get a sale I'll, I'll just wear her and my shawls are definitely washable wash them in a cold cold um, low spin and then I just dry them for about 20 minutes on a wool cycle just to get some of the damp out and then hang them up to dry and then all the little fluffies at the bottom just make sure that you get them all into you know looking looking all fluffy again they will go very vintage looking at the bottom they'll start to fluff out more this one has not been washed and i wanted to show you one that has been washed and that's this one and she was washed and dried the same and all the fluffies at the bottom do go really fluffy and she got softer so that's that lady she's designed as a v-neck at the front and the back <laughs> and she's designed to give you enough coverage at the front there and enough at the back and she's a medium worsted cotton she's four ply and she's very resilient she's, she's a very resilient girl excuse me and um, she will definitely last you quite quite a while it's taken uh, about a week to make her and I worked on her all week, about 10, 12 hours a day. I am a slow crocheter, but I do um, want to make sure that the inside and the outside is completely smooth and to get it absolutely perfect, if I'm completely honest. This is her with the jumpsuit. I wanted to show you her with a, a different, you know, colour to go with her. And you'll know that the jumpsuit is one of my favourites. But for this video, this video is, is specifically about Rose. She is a one-off, one-of-a-kind. Um, I may do the same kind of colours in the future, just not in this particular design. And that's her. So there will be further photos over on my Instagram account, which I will put the link to. And let me show you... Where is it gone? Oh, I wanted to show you her with a necklace on. Definitely think any of my purple girls out there would, would just like the contrast, especially in the fall and the winter, you know, when things are really drab. So this is the necklace that I'm pairing. So you can see how she looks. She looks very elegant when she's on. So this is her with a purple kind of colour. I don't know if I'm going to sneeze, but <laughs> okay. But I do want to show you her with also, doesn't mean me taking off what I've got on, but I wanted to give you another idea of what she looks like mixed with other pinks because the um, obviously the inspiration was roses, was the white wild roses for this particular lady. But I do have a 
Bruce dress which I did put up for um, sale on the Panther Bay BST site never got any interest in which which was quite sad because I think somebody would love her but anyhow I'll show you how she looks like and this ruche dress it's silk and she's she looks like patchworks throughout that's the design of the dress and she has the oranges and the pinks and the sort of silvers and the dark pink in so with this dress just want to show you how she looks with a corresponding colour. See? Just in case you don't like purples and you're like, mm, I don't like my pinks. That is how she looks like with the dress. Like I say, the dress is also um, available if anybody wants the dress. <laughs> um, you just message me and I'll let you know. I mean, it, it, I have a lot of these dresses, so I don't mind letting one go if you like the set. And uh, and that's how it looks with a dress. And I'm just going to show you one more look with this particular cape. Not with a dress. I hope you don't mind me getting dressed and undressed in front of you guys. This is just with a pair of red pants. And these are the pants that I get from Amazon. You'll know I like them. And this for me is just a really, really nice, easy look. So I have just a long sleeved, cheap, cheap Walmart tee on. And this is how she's going to look just over a pair of pants. So you have an idea of how versatile she is. So that is the rose. Um, if you if you are if you do have an Instagram account, you can click on and follow me on Instagram and put more photos up. If you like her and you think nope, I love her, I want her now, you can just message me below and we can have a chat or. You can contact me on Facebook <laughs> and that is the rose so I'm hoping you guys are gonna like this one you'll know that I've already got my sweet little Daisy up as well so she is also available as well and the way I see it is I love them no matter what if I don't sell them I'm just gonna keep them in my closet no matter what anyway because because I'm going to wear, I could wear them. But if somebody um, doesn't crochet and they have been after a granny crochet little shawl, one that can be worn just nice and simple, <laughs> then contact me and I will give you some more details. In the meantime, thank you for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. If you like my channel, just a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, you could hit that subscription button and uh, any comments, nice ones, <laughs> don't have to be mean, <laughs> but any comments, um, I do read all the comments as well, guys. So in the meantime, love you.